basement? Place. How are you feeling? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Don't forget what I told you yesterday. Your body is extreme. Keep a close eye on your clothing. Don't let yourself get stripped down. I doubt the men who attacked us yesterday will give up quite so easily. Not just mine, but yours as well. Of course, there are bound to be those who will leave us be, but I wouldn't... <gasps> They're here! It's her! We found her! That filthy failure's with her, too! Let's smush them both! They're the same as us. Poor souls with a fatal weakness to sunlight. I don't think that's necessary. And my mission is to fight them until you should be able to feel it too by now. Come, join me in this battle. Who's that? Broski! You're alive! I hadn't heard from you in three days. I thought maybe somebody chipped you off somewhere. Stare. Who's this lady? She's not part of the Freedom Fighters, is she? usually means you did something you're not proud of and don't want to talk about it. Anyway, you must atone for leaving me alone and worried these past three days.
The present situation is thus. There is approximately one little sister standing before you, desiring of a character tea, which that shop over there just got in. Your mission? Purchase shirt for adorable sister. expenditure this time. But next time you disappear like that, you'd better be ready to declare bankruptcy. The other freedom fighters have been really worried about you too. So make sure you've got your story straight when you see them. The longer you wait to explain yourself to everyone, the more danger you'll be in. Also, between you and me, I'm a little embarrassed to see you traipsing about in such shoddy attire. Stop by any time you're back at base, and I'll give you a makeover. For a small fee, of course. Just something to keep in mind. The present situation, however, is that this sunlight shines far too brightly for a humble shut-in, such as I. Therefore, your adorable sister shall now coolly take her leave. I'll see you back at base. Your little sister is certainly... unique. Are we far from the headquarters? If we don't get moving soon, we could be attacked again at any moment. for three whole days, man. Where you been? The hell were you thinking disappearing like that? I thought for sure you'd been kidnapped. And what's with the high quality 3D next to you? Something smells real fishy here. So you did get yourself caught up in something dangerous. I knew it. Those rumors floating around Akiba were actually true! 
Rumors? What, you mean you haven't heard them? There've been like a million flips about it. People get kidnapped, turned into monsters, then terrorizing the locals. Yeah, that's... They steal life energy from people. In other words, they drain their vitality, effectively killing all enthusiasm and zeal. saying is those recent news reports of people being discovered in deeply lethargic states. It's because they've been attacked by these synthesters? I'm afraid so. I think I understand. This is one of those truth is stranger than fractions things, right? That would be fiction, Cotty. Truth is stranger than fiction. So let me get this straight. You go off to apply for some shady as hell job where your employer somehow drugs you and turns you into a monster? And nothing leading up to that set off a red flag. You are seriously the world heavyweight champion of dumbass. Come on, Toko. He's been through enough already. Besides, getting lured in by Ellie Swag makes total sense, considering who we're talking about. Oh, for the love of... Do you even comprehend how much trouble you've caused everyone? You don't exist in a vacuum, you know. So, ignoring these two for the moment, I believe introductions are in order. I'm Yuto, Yuto Tachibana. May I have your name as well? Mine is Shizuku, Shizuku Tokikaze. We call ourselves the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Together, we voluntarily patrol the streets of Akihabara, keeping an eye out for trouble. He's one of us as well, and this bar serves as our base of operations. That's right. And I'm one of the central figures in our illustrious group. Name's Kaito Tachibana, and the pleasure's mine. As you might have figured out, I'm Yuto's older twin brother. Best way to tell us apart? I'm the one with all the ideas. Is one of those ideas being out of school and unemployed? You shut up! You shut up and you die! Little brothers can't show up, big brothers. It's against the rules. Yes, yes, that's enough now. I'm Kati Raikunin. I blew on in from Finland to Japan so I could see and do its cool, busy culture. Hmm? I believe what she's trying to say is that she flew here from Finland to study the cool culture of Japan. Name's Kihachi Sugiyama. I'm the manager of this here game bar, Mogra, where people can knock back a few while they play these old classic arcade cabinets. Feel free to just call me Pops. Everybody else around here does. But you're welcome to call me Dear Sweet Old Man if you prefer. He's got a face fit for the FBI's most wanted list, doesn't he? <laughs> hey. But he's a good guy. Don't worry. You could have said that sooner, you know. I'm Toko Sagisaka. I grew up with this dope and just can't seem to get away from him, despite my best efforts. No need for formalities with me. Everybody just calls me by my first name. Incidentally, thanks for saving him. I happened upon him during a mission. It was good fortune, nothing more. There is one other member of our group, but she's like a rare monster spawn. She should pop eventually. Guess you'll meet her then. So, what's the plan? Do we all pile into the police station and tell them Akiba's infested with monsters? They'd never believe a word of it. Why not? I mean, we can show them living proof. You're one of these synthester things now yourself, right? No, no, that's no good. 
He'd get deceptive and have weird science. 